Hi guys, this is Sweet Pods Thrift and my next thrifting haul. Um, I'm going to show you guys what I got within the past about two weeks, two or three weeks. So first off, I'm going to start here. So coincidentally, I ended up with two jewelry armoires. So I'll tell a story on this one first. As you can see, I bought it originally for $10.00. I went to an estate sale. This was still near the front door. No one had bought it. The only thing about it was that the inside mirror had a crack alongside the whole mirror. So that might have to be replaced. But for $10, it was a good deal. And as I was cleaning it out, two $2 bills fell out of it. So technically, I paid about 6 bucks for it. So that was a really, really good deal. Another estate sale I went to, this was the second week I went back to it because they did say they were bringing out more stuff, and I saw this in the garage. It's a smaller, a smaller little armoire, but it was too cute to leave behind, especially for $3. So I picked that up. So next I'm going to show you uh, a few video games and clothing items I got, and then I'll show you the jewelry that I found. So here's a little bit of the clothing and shoes and video, video games. So first off, I found these Uggs. They are pretty dirty, but I'm planning to clean them up. But I got them at a garage sale for only a dollar, so can't beat that. I also found this pair of Toms for a dollar. Uh, they go perfect for summertime, so I got those. I did find this engraver I think it was five dollars but it looks like it's never been used it still has some um, extra carbide tips found a dirty dancing CD for a dollar and I did manage to find my first LuLaRoe at a garage sale it's a fruit kind of pattern but I got it for two dollars and here's the video games I managed to find there was, I got all this at one garage sale. I think they advertised that they had an old N64. And surprisingly, when I got there, this stuff was still here because I think there was like a neighborhood garage sale the next city over. And so a lot of uh, other people who were garage selling were probably there. But I got to this sale about maybe five minutes early so I immediately started looking around for it and I found it. It was all in a box. And as you can see, it said $6 on it. So I asked the guy, is it $6 for everything? And he said, yes. So I picked it up. I said, I'll buy it. So it came with three controllers, the gray, black, and a green. The system does work. It comes with its uh, cords. And here's the games it came with. So first off, I found, I found Mario Party, Super Mario 64, Mario Kart 64, Diddy Kong Racing, Donkey Kong 64, California Speed, Cruising USA, and GoldenEye 007. So I got those. So next, I'm going to show you guys all the jewelry I found, which was a lot. So here's the stuff I got from the same estate sale that I got that miniature jewelry armoire at. So some of this stuff I got either in the garage or in the house. So I'll start off here with the garage. So a few things I found. I got this little Monopoly piece still in its original packaging. And I also got this anti-tarnish jewelry cloth for gold. I found a few military insignias. So I found this piece and this piece. They're both sterling. I found a little sterling cross. This uh, brooch, I believe it could be sterling with gold overlay, but there's a marking on the back and it's pretty illegible, so I can't really tell for sure. And I also found this vintage uh, stamp collection I believe the guy came from Germany. He was a U.S. military that was stationed in Germany. 
uh, but he has a few stamps from around the world as well. So I got that. I got this cool knife. It's a Kanin, Kaninaga made, but it does have a sterling outside. So I found that. So most of this stuff here, I believe I paid probably $3 total. And this piece was a sterling, I believe is like opera glasses, but I found this inside the house and I found this little tiny pendant, a Norman Rockwell, one gram of fine silver pendant. So I found these two in the house. I asked the guy there how much it was and he said a dollar for both of them. And I happened to be looking in the garage and I found the broken off piece of the opera glasses. So this piece broke off like right there. It's missing the lens on one of them. And this thing actually folds up like that. So I thought that was pretty cool. And lastly from that house, I got this bag. I think it's a broken necklace or bracelet. But I thought I might be able to repair it. So I got that for probably like a dollar. So this next stuff I got from one garage sale. They had multiple bags on the table so you couldn't really tell what was in them. It's mostly a grab bag of stuff. So I think I got like five or six bags and they're about a dollar a bag. So I just grabbed a few because I saw some good pieces in it. So this is all the stuff that I'm probably going to get rid of because they're either broken or mismatched or just not, they don't interest me. So that's all that stuff. So here's the stuff I ain't, am keeping. So first off is this sterling necklace with a little floral pendant. These are pretty cool earrings. So these are sterling earrings, so I got those. I found a little sterling bracelet. This I want to keep just because it's cool. It's a tie uh, clip with a little fishing rod on it. So I go fishing a lot, so I thought that was pretty cool. Here's some sterling earrings with little stones or beads in them. These are all miscellaneous pieces. There's a pair of sterling earrings here with a gold wash over them. This one, I wasn't sure if it's gold, so I might have to test that out. And then I got a few sterling ear backings and a little sterling charm. I got some silver earrings right here as well. These were pretty cool. One of them is marked 925 and this one happens to be marked 14 carat on the back. So I thought that was pretty cool, a white gold cross. I found another sterling pair of hoop earrings, a little silver ring, and these ones are mostly gonna be scrapped because they're all broken. Uh, this one's a sterling, I think, bracelet that broke. These ones are sterling earrings, but one of them is missing the post in the back. It must have broke off, so that's going to have to be scrapped. And this one, I thought it was okay when I looked through the bag, but it turns out this necklace is also broken right there. So it's a 10 carat necklace. But either way, I did find some good stuff in those grab bags. Moving on to the next group of stuff. This stuff right here, I found at a garage sale for 25 cents. It's a sterling uh, necklace with matching earrings. So it has a little floral design there. This stuff I got at a garage sale, the same one I found the N64 stuff at. So I got this vintage uh, Waltham watch. It does work. It's a wind-up watch, but it's pretty cool. So I got that. 
I got this just for the coins because I thought it was cool. I didn't have any idea what it was. But my dad was with me and he's like, that's a lighter. And I was like, I still like the coins on it. So I took that. I found a sterling cross with necklace. I thought these might be Bakelite and I'd try something like make jewelry out of them. So I got those three dice. And this was pretty cool. Is I just saw it. I was like, it's an American flag pin. But I turned it around and it actually is a Disneyland pin. So I definitely picked that up because I do have a lot of Disney pins in my collection. So lastly, I'm going to show you the major jewelry haul that I did find. So that'll be next. Okay, so here's the major jewelry haul that I did find. But first off, I forgot to show you that this N64 does have its red expansion pack in there. So that's what made it all the better. So back to the major jewelry haul right here. Um, so this sale was actually part of a neighborhood sale. There's about three houses right next to each other that had um that were having a garage sale and I was with my cousin and my dad and my cousin and I were going to the two other sales so as we were approaching the third my dad said hey you guys are missing the jewelry they're rating it right now so my cousin and I rushed to this third sale and as we approached it we saw the signs on the table for the prices so I saw on the table it said necklaces a dollar and rings, earrings, or bracelets 50 cents. So I immediately saw the quality of the jewelry. So my cousin and I, we started like grabbing jewelry at the armful. And I actually had to use one of the baskets they're selling at their garage sale as a shopping basket because there's just so many. So this is what I managed to grab. So first off, I'm going to start here. Um, this is the stuff I'm probably going to get rid of or scrap. Because this one is a sterling necklace, but it's pretty bent. Uh, I don't know if you can get that out or not and straighten it out. So that might have to be scrapped. And this one is just uh, costume or mismatch earrings or rings. So... I got that. This was part of a box of other things. So some things in that box I did keep. This is just the stuff I didn't. So I got those two. These necklaces were pretty nice. So this is the first thing I saw was this big large snake chain necklace for 50 cents or for a dollar. So that's what made me start grabbing stuff by the armfuls. So I grabbed that necklace. And this was in this is the original box for this necklace. It's a liquid silver southwestern necklace, so I got that. This is a 14 karat and turquoise uh, necklace, and this was pretty cool. I think I don't remember what kind of stone that is, but it's a multi stone southwestern necklace with a sterling accents on it. Next, uh, some of the pieces are. Carolyn Polak pieces. So I'll point those out to you. There's about maybe five or six pieces I have here. So first off is this one. It's a lapis and sterling necklace. Ooh, pretty heavy stones on it. And this one comes with a clip-on pendant that goes right there. So that was a dollar. And I got these. This is another snake chain sterling necklace. And here are two sterling with gold overlay um, bracelets. And here's a sterling with gold overlay bangle bracelet as well. Here's the other Carolyn Polak piece. I really like this one. It's a multi uh, strand turquoise necklace. And it actually has her little monogram right there, CP. And here are two other pieces of hers. They're multi-stone bracelets with a sterling and enamel 
accent piece right there. So I got that one and a lapis version of that one. I think my cousin got the third piece. It was um, the red coral piece. So she took that one home. As the ladies were ringing me up, they're like, ooh, this is a good purchase because this is Black Hills Gold. I believe it's marked in the back 12 carat and 925. I think that's lapis right there. So for only a dollar, that's a really good buy. So moving on, I found a few pearls, more which I'll show you later. But these all have 14 karat clasp. This one, I might have to just get restrung because the silk thread is already breaking on this one. And then I found two with two of these black pearls necklaces with 14 karat class with a matching bracelet. This stuff was part of the little box that I told you that I got this stuff in. So here's the, some of the pieces I was thinking about keeping. So first off, here's some sterling and marcasite earrings. These three rings are a set. They're all sterling. They have little CZs set inside the ring. So I got those. This one is just a gold filled ring with a sterling top. But it's a nice vintage piece. It is missing one of the, I think it's a rhinestone on the top. One or two of them. And the rest of these, here's a sterling ring with inset CZs. The rest of these are just sterling little pieces or earring backs that are missing pairs. So I got those. I got this pair of earrings. Those were 50 cents. This was a really good purchase right here. This one's pretty cool. Uh, it's a sterling bracelet from, I believe it's Smart Thailand. But it's got a cool bracelet design on it. So I got that. That was 50 cents. So here's the last group of stuff. So first off are these sterling rings. These are all sterling rings or earrings. Um, these look like they're part of a set. And that set only cost me about a dollar. These ones, I believe some of these are part of the, I think like QVC has a Diamondique collection. So I believe these two rings are part of it. Uh, they are marked 925. This one has additional marking. If you can see right inside the band, it's marked uh, Takori 4 right there. So I got that ring and then this one has... I don't know if those are sapphires, but they're blue stones in a sterling with gold overlay ring. This one is another Carolyn Polak piece. It's a lapis uh, multi-stone necklace with a sterling pendant. And I found it. Here's my last lapis piece. Again multi-beaded necklace with a sterling uh, pendant. I did find two other pearl necklaces. These are, they either have 14 karat or have 14 karat clasp. So this one is the one with the 14 karat clasp pearl necklace. Here's the other one. So those were a dollar each. And here's the bitter finds. So all these pieces are gold. Most of them 14 or 10 karat. So I have multiple earrings. Some of them, I believe this one does not have a match. But some of them are unmatched. So those might have to be scrapped. But there's a few pairs in there. And the rings. Uh, I managed to find these four rings. This one is 10 karat. These two are 14 karat. 
And this one is 14 karat as well. Uh, I believe this is also part of that Diamondique collection of those uh, engagement rings that they have. This one has a marking inside the band. It says celebrate. So I believe this is like in one of the engagement ring styles that they're selling. So yeah, I hope you guys liked my jewelry haul. Thanks.